Okay guys, after a little break, we're right back at it. Here on Secumvit Road. And uh, we're gonna walk down this way. There's uh, Preda. Hello, how are you? Oh wow. Where are you from? From USA. USA, oh, America. America, baby. Wow. Yeah. Where are you from? Hold from on. Thailand. Hold on, hold on. Let me get you. You're you're a lot more better to look at than I am. Really? You you so you're from Thailand? Yes, I'm from Thailand. So what is so special about Thailand? What would you tell people in America if they're thinking of coming here? It's me. It's you. <laughs> well, no, you know that's hard to argue with. <laughs> no, no, just kidding. Uh, the special. I think that. I think that women. <laughs> Women is good. The, the women are good, yes. <laughs> they're very nice, they're very friendly, they're very intelligent, and they're very beautiful. So you represent very well. What's your name? My name is Sunny. Ani? Sunny. Sunny. Oh, Sunny. Sunny. Yes. Like the, Sunny. Like the, the, the day we have today, almost. Yes. There you go. What about you, sir? My name is Terry. I'm the Barefoot Vlogger on YouTube. Oh, really? Yes, what, ma'am. What channel? YouTube, Barefoot Vlogger. Like, no shoes, even though I'm wearing them. It's a long story. You'll have to be from Florida to to know really? about it. Wow. They, they, the mail, the guys used to deliver the mail used to walk on the beach with no shoes because <laughs> yes. it's Florida, you can do that. Yes. So I stole their name. Oh. Uh, what are you doing here today? I like today. the shoes, by the way. Yes. Very today, styling. I'm in Hill Hospital, sir. Me, Hill Hospital. Yep, oh, in the sir. hospital? So, so tell everybody who they can reach out to to help you if they want to help you. Okay, so today my, my name is Ani, right? I am from this cat and shell boutique, right? So today we're selling the product to get the budget to heal our hospital in Thailand, sir. Because they lack up about the budget, insufficient equipment, or medicine, or nurse, or doctor. They really don't have enough. That's why I, I, I am from a company. So that's why I'm here to help them. Wow. Ah, that's yes. wonderful. You're doing a great thing. Really? It, yeah, absolutely. And you are very well spoken. So they're lucky to have you doing that on their behalf. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. So thanks for chatting with us, guys. And best have of luck. Nice Let us know how it goes. Okay, Sunny? Thank you. Have a nice day. You Thank too. Bye-bye. What a nice young lady. Doing a good thing. All right, guys. We will continue, as I was saying, down to, uh, I think it's Soy 42, that I want to check out what we do. This is why I have this light. Because this light takes forever. It's longer than waiting for a bridge in South Florida. We're gonna go down to Soy 42, and uh, there's an interesting spot over there I think you guys will, I think you guys will appreciate, so. At least I hope so. Let's go. So this area here, as I mentioned, it's called Esok. The road is Sukhumvit. And this is a, it's a, it's a mixed bag here, guys, of, of, of business. There's a lot of tourists that stay in this area. It uh, attracts a lot of activity. Of course, you have Soy Cowboy and uh, you have Nana Plaza, which again, you have a lot of bars and go-go type clubs there so there's a lot of people at uh, tourists especially guys that come down here to uh, frequent that area and I walked through it last night just to check it out to see if I could do any kind of video there because it's certainly risque I mean there's scantily clad women outside the bars trying to lure people in and I'm pretty sure they don't appreciate a camera there in fact in Nana Plaza the security will hassle you because that's actually a private street but you could at least look at it and get the comparison between what it's like there in the daytime which is really quiet food carts you know a lot of people that are locals will go there and, and eat lunch but at night it really transforms into a whole different place so you know, it's, it is a red light district. I mean, that's, it's referred to as such by many. So, um, be careful. You really gotta watch when you're crossing here because it could mean your life. All these folks sitting here gathered on the stairs, waiting for the bus, I guess. But yeah, the, you know, this area is very busy. And the traffic 
is insane over here most times. It's actually moving pretty good right now. There are times where I'll just sit there like soup, you know, going anywhere. It's one of the reasons I didn't get on a motorbike because what's the point of getting on a motorbike and I'm sitting in traffic? It's just, it looks like a uh, shrine here. This is a good place to uh, park yourself if you're coming here as a tourist for at least a couple of days. So I did that, but then uh, I'll move on to other parts of the city like Ceylon. Get down towards Chinatown, get down closer to the river. And see as much as I can while I'm here. Trust me, you want to get it all in. It's a really long flight. There's no telling the next time I'll be back here. Guys, the other thing that I forgot to mention, it probably should have been the first thing I should have mentioned as soon as I got off the plane. Look at these cables. Look at this, it's almost like hitting me in the head. It's almost like a noose hanging here. I mean, this is just a spider web network of cables that is in complete disarray. And I can't, I don't know how if one of them goes bad, they are able to isolate that bad cable. I mean, look at this. Look at the name of this bar, The Hangover. You know, it was only a matter of time before somebody came up with that name for a place here after that movie's success. I wonder how many people saw that movie and came to Bangkok as a result of watching it. I'll bet you quite a few. I tell you right now, right now all I can smell is that fried chicken. <laughs> that fried chicken, I am not hungry in the least, but it smelled amazing. Is it five o'clock yet? I wanted to get a beer. Uh, I got 15 minutes. Here's the Marriott Marquis. That is a big hotel. Guys, the, uh, the smells are just hitting me and overwhelming me. It's the smell of uh, trash on the sidewalks. Somebody's cooking something. Fumes from the exhaust. This is the one thing that smells good on this block. Wow, that looks great. What are you guys cooking, chicken wings? Man, that smells great. It smells great, but every once in a while I get a whiff of the garbage. Thailand Domino's. Check out this authentic old school restaurant right here on this old street. Yes, those are fish balls. She throws them in there in the vat right there. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it smells amazing in there. Oh, look at this. She's cooking it all up right here on this cart just outside the restaurant. You have all the food laid out here on the table, cooking more in the back there. And then they have patrons in this place, sitting down, relaxing, and enjoying a wonderful meal. Smells great in here, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, while we're on the subject of malls, 
Bangkok it has no shortage of them, and incredible ones. Here's another one. Some, some people think this is the best one of all. It's called M-Sphere. You should call it Hemisphere because it's about that big. Good gracious. Look at this place. Look at this monstrosity. Wow. They might as well take a peek inside. This is something else, guys. It's a different kind of a venue from the uh, Terminal 21, which, which obviously is more like the street food version of a food court, all under one roof. This is a little more up with the times. How cool is this? You can sit right here at the bar and eat and drink. And I'll tell you what, it smells absolutely divine. You know, seeing this and taking it all in, two separate malls that really aren't that far away from each other. Both within walking distance of one another. What are these things? Okay, it's just like the senses are, are just going nuts right now. What I was going to say was, I'm surprised that in America, we really don't have anything like this. Our food courts are a joke compared to the ones here. I mean, this is insane. And, you know, it's smart because there's a lot of money in food. I would think they would be better served by using more of the space to provide these types of dining options. Love the ceiling, by the way. Anyway, I'm glad I stopped in here to show it to you. I definitely think it's worth a visit next time you're here. I don't know which one I like better. It's a veritable smorgasbord. They definitely have everything that you need or could desire, all under one roof. What's this place? Pata Negra House. Let's check it out. I want to take pictures. It's beautiful. Thank you. Wow, look at this case. My goodness. Why? It's somebody's leg. Remember, good fellas. And it's, uh, we hit the deer and his paw, what do you call it? The paw. The paw. paw, the, paw. Big old the hoof. The hoof got caught in the grill. Oh. I, gotta, I gotta hack it off. Ooh. Black pasta. Hello. Pasta looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. What is the, um, the is black? That, is that like it, ink? ink? Yeah, ink. Of squid. squid ink. Yeah, we call angel hair. Does, angel hair pasta. Yeah. Does the ink add any flavor to the to the uh, pasta? Mm, not much. No, it just yeah, makes yeah. it look good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay, thank you so much. Well, guys, I can't promise you I won't be showing you any more malls, but uh, 
I'll sure do my best not to. Till next time. From the hemisphere here in Bangkok, the Barefoot Vlogger saying, stay well, stay tuned, keep eating, and keep shopping.